Welcome to the channel. In today's video, we are going to be bleeding the ABS pump along with flushing the entire brake system on this R1100RS. Now this bleed procedure is going to apply to all BMW 850, R1100, and R1150 models that utilize non-servo operated ABS brakes like the later model. Uh, I think it started up in the R1150s and K-bikes. Um, I have a video bleeding the far more complicated servo assisted ABS. This system is way simpler and easier for you guys to follow along and do at home. There's only two bleed ports on top of the pump as opposed to six bleed ports. Um, if you're looking for that video, I'll have it linked in the description. Um, but without further ado, let's get to it. So I already have all the bodywork and the gas tank off. If you have like an R1100RT and you're doing this procedure, you'll have to remove your fairings, remove your gas tank. But once you have that all um, off and you've exposed your ABS pump, the procedure will be the exact same. So step one is going to be just opening up. This is the, your rear brake reservoir. So I'm gonna undo this and I'm just gonna use a, these are just nitro RC car gas can things. And I'm gonna suck out the old brake fluid of the rear reservoir. And I'm gonna do the same thing to the front reservoir and then just fill it up with fresh clean fluid so we don't have to waste a bunch of time and energy bleeding through old fluid. We just know we already filled the reservoir with new stuff. So we'll get this all bled through, get our pump bled. Everything's gonna go smoothly. And I have extremely high confidence that every one of you can do this job at home if you just follow along. And then this is our front brake fluid reservoir. So just with a Phillips screwdriver, we can get these uh, four screws undone. And then everyone, for whatever reason, always asks in all my videos, oh, how many miles are on this bike? How many miles? Just so they can gauge like, oh, when is this guy getting his brakes, brakes bled? BMW does recommend you should be getting your brakes bled or flushed like we're doing now every two years. And that's regardless of mileage. So this particular bike has at almost, or I think it has just over 100,000 miles on it. But uh, brake fluid is hydroscopic, so it attracts moisture in the air. And with that, the brake fluid becomes diluted with water effectively, um, which lowers the boiling point and can dramatically affect your braking performance. So we'll get this front reservoir undone, and then we'll suck the fluid out of there and put fresh fluid in. So we're gonna be bleeding the rear caliper first. It really doesn't matter what order you do it in, do it in, but I'm just choosing the rear caliper. So you pop the little rubber cap off there. This is an 11 millimeter wrench and we're gonna hook our, this is a vacuum bleeder, but I don't have it hooked up to shop air. So it's just effectively a reservoir to hold the brake fluid that I'm bleeding off. So um, what you're gonna do, it's gonna be a very, first off, it's gonna be a very a traditional brake bleeding procedure um, like you're used to if you've ever bled brakes before, but we're just gonna pump up our rear brake lever open up our bleeder, you'll feel the pedal fall down, and then we'll shut our bleed valve, keeping pressure on the rear brake lever. And then once this is closed, we can release, and this fluid level dip down ever so slightly. So I'm gonna pump this up, and we'll do this procedure like 10 times. So get pressure built up here, release this, brake pedal falls to the ground, and then close the bleeder. So pump this up, open, close, release, pump this up, open, close, release. And you don't ever want to introduce air into the system. So we'll just get it down, you know, quarter inch or so from the bottom. And then we'll uh, put some fresh fluid in there. And I could be doing this significantly faster if I was uh, just using the vacuum bleeder, but I'm guessing majority of you do not have a vacuum bleeder at home, so I'm gonna be doing it the way that you guys are likely to be doing it. And then we're gonna kinda of do the same thing on the front brake. So 
um, grab the little rubber cap off the caliper. I just like to use a wrench. Grab that off. Same 11 mil. Put that on there. Put our vacuum bleeder on there. And then up on the brake lever, rather than the brake pedal, we're going to pump it up. Crack the bleeder. Let the lever fall all the way to the handlebar. Close the bleeder. Release the lever. So we'll pump it up. We'll give it two or three pumps until the lever is stiff. Open it up. Let the lever fall right to the handlebar. And then close the bleeder. Pump up the lever. Open the bleeder. Let it fall to the handlebar. Close the bleeder. And then release. Now coming over here to the left side caliper, I got the 11 mil wrench hooked up and my bleeder. So I'm pumping up the lever, release the bleeder, lever falls to the handlebar, close the bleeder, release the lever. I think you guys get it by now. This is probably the part you guys been, have been waiting for. So the ABS pump. So what we're gonna do is I'm just gonna go ahead and remove both of these bleed caps. This is our rear circuit. This is our front circuit and um, I'll do it without the bleeder hooked up first, just so you guys can see the fluid that comes out of there. But what we're going to do is treat it kind of like the brake caliper, like this is the rear brake caliper and this is the front brake caliper. So we'll hold pressure on the rear brake pedal, open up the bleeder, and then the fluid will come out like that. You can see I got a couple air bubbles and then I got nice fluid with out air bubbles in it. So pump the lever up, release the bleeder, let the fluid come out, close the bleeder, release the pedal. And then this is the front. Again, I'm just gonna do it without the bleed hose, just so you guys can get a visual on air bubbles come out of there, coming out of there. But this being the front now, I'm holding pressure on the front brake lever, releasing the bleeder, the brake pedal goes to the handlebar, falls to the handlebar, shut the bleeder, release the lever. So we'll repeat that 10 times on each side in no particular order, but to uh, prevent a large mess, I'm going to use my bleed hose. So, and then on the same time, while we're doing this, you're gonna wanna keep an eye on your fluid level on both your front and rear reservoirs. I hope you guys have got it by now, but it's a relatively quick and easy procedure. You should be doing this every two years. Um, hopefully this video helped you out. If it helped you out and you're not subscribed, please subscribe to my channel. It means the absolute world and it keeps videos like this coming. It's absolutely free for you to do and it means the world to me. So. Get these closed, we'll replace our rubber cap and uh, get the reservoirs filled up and take this thing on a test drive. Top off our fluid level there and put our cap back on. We'll fill up our reservoir here. Thank you so much for watching my BMW ABS bleed tutorial. If this video helped you out in any way, please subscribe, and as always, have a safe ride.